Hey guys, just a quick reminder that I do have a Valorant competitive fundamentals course, which will help you understand all the fundamental aspects of competitive that will help you climb, understand the game at a deeper level, and ultimately rank up and improve your overall mechanical skill. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can optimize your ping in Valorant, as well as your overall internet connection while you play, because in a game like Valorant, especially in a competitive setting, it's pretty important to have good connection, to have good ping, because if you don't, you're gonna be lagging and that's gonna be holding you back pretty pretty severely. So uh, this is gonna be on Windows 10, so if you don't have Windows 10, I'm sorry, but otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Type into the search bar at the bottom left, CMD which is gonna uh, pop up command prompt. And now what we wanna do here is basically we're just gonna type in ping 1.1.1.1. Now doing this is going to ping this number and it's gonna give you back some values here, which we'll just take note of for right now. And then we're also gonna wanna type in ping 8.8.8.8. .8 and so we're typing in these two things. And this is also eventually going to give us back the same thing here, um, as you can see. So as you can see for me, uh, the 1.1.1.1 has been consistently just slightly quicker than the 17s, right? Which is just, it's one millisecond, so it's not a massive difference, but I've done this like five times now and 1.1.1.1 is consistently uh, quicker. So that's what we're gonna be taking note of. So take note of which one of these is quicker, the eights or the ones. And now guys, we're gonna go to the bottom right of Windows where you have your network. You're gonna right click on, see for me, it's the network three the little ethernet symbol. You're gonna right click, click open network and internet settings. We're going to go to ethernet on the left side, and then we're going to go to change adapter options. And here, this is the same one that you saw down here. See, it says network three. This is the one that I use as my ethernet. You're gonna right click, you're gonna click properties, and then we're going to go to IPv4. We're gonna right click, or we're gonna click properties. And so this is where we want to be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this right here next to it so you can see. So basically, again guys, if you haven't yet, figure out which one of these is quicker. And so if the ones were quicker, that's what you're gonna use. If the eights were quicker, um, which is what I have it set to right now, in this case, I'm actually gonna be changing it from eights to ones, just so you guys can understand the process. So if eights are quicker, you're gonna, you're gonna click this, check this right here at the bottom, click use the following DNS server addresses, and you're gonna type 8888 to the top one, and then you're gonna type 8844 to the bottom one. Now for me, you see that my ones were quicker by just a little bit. So I'm gonna be changing these values here to one, 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 one. And then for the bottom ones, we're gonna be changing them to one, zero, zero, and one. So if your ones were quicker, this is what you change these two values to. And if your eights were quicker, quicker you can go back. It's eight, eight, four, four. So that's the setting. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to start pulling uh, information from like one of these instead of the other, which whichever one's gonna be quicker is the one you want to put in here basically. And this is gonna probably give you some moderate and performance and ping, especially if there's a significant difference between these two for Valorant. So hopefully this tip made sense. If you have some questions about this, let me know in the comments down below. The next tip is in our firewall settings, we're just gonna be making sure that a uh, right client has access within our firewall so that we can receive maximum connection. So basically what we're gonna wanna be doing is go down to the search bar, bar type firewall and then Windows Defender Firewall, you're gonna click on this. We're going to, once you're on this page, click on Allow an App in the top left, as you can see. And then we're going to click Change Settings. Now, a lot of you probably already have Riot Client here, but then we're gonna click Allow Another App. And what you wanna do here is click Browse. And so for me, I already know where Riot Client is. If you don't know which disk it's on, you could just click on every disk until you see Riot Games. And once you see Riot Games, you're gonna click Riot Games. You're gonna click Riot Client. And then you're gonna click Riot Client Services and click Open, okay? And you're gonna click Add. Now, so for me, I already have this added. You might also already have it added automatically as well. It says it's already in the list of exceptions, which is exactly what we want. Um, you can check to see if it's here by scrolling down. These are in alphabetical order and see that Riot Client's on. These are ticked, so make sure that they're ticked. And this is just gonna make sure that your that Riot Client and Valorant has full access within your connection. And so you're not getting like lag spiked or anything like that through your ping. Um, so make sure that you do this. this is a quick little fix. Make sure it's just a little thing that you can ensure you've done. And yeah, guys, final tip, we're going to be downloading something called TCP Optimizer 4. And what you can do to download this is just type in TCP Optimizer. It's a top link. Or you can copy the link here. It's speedguide.net slash download.php. And what we're going to click is this button right here, TCP Optimizer 4, the download button. And I'll be showing you what to do after you download it. So make sure you download it right there. 
and then you're going to go to your Windows search board, type TCP, or just go to downloads. And then once you download it, you're going to right click and click run as admin. Now that's where we are here. This is what I have open. So basically I have this block because my IP is behind this and I don't want to show you guys. So make sure you turn your connection speed all the way up to 100 plus uh, megabytes per second, megabits per second. And then here we're going to have our network adapter selection. We're going to want to make sure that that's on the correct one. And so how you know that that's on the correct one is you're going to again go down to networks. We're going to the same area again. So click open network settings, then go to Ethernet, go to change adapter options. And then whichever one is right here for me, it's Intel R Ethernet Connection 7. This is my active network. So you might have, you might also have a separate one that's uh, here. It'll say like Intel something, but you see there's an X next to this one, X next to this one. So I know that the one that I need is Ethernet Connection 7. And that's what I've selected here. Um, yeah, so make sure you do that. And next, we are now going to be going over to Advanced Settings. And this is where we are going to need some uh, settings here. We're going to click Custom. So, because we want to actually customize each one of these, this what I'm about to give you is just uh, an optimized like uh, optimized set of settings that we can give you. So <clears throat> max connections per one underscore server, we're going to put 10. I'm just going to tell you all these numbers here and we can type them in together and we can optimize our, our ping together. So we're going to go four instead of 499. We're going to go five, six, seven for each of these. And then we're going to go to two here. And then this stays disabled. This goes to 2000 and the other one stays at 300. And then we're going to go up here. This is going to go to zero. The bottom one's going to go optimal one. This is going to go to disabled. This is going to go to gaming zero, uh, which is that, that's what we want. And then we're going to go disabled one. TCP no delay is going to be enabled one. And the bottom one's going to be disabled zero. Large scale cache is zero. The one under that size is going to be one. Max user port is six, five, five, three, four. And then we're going to go 32. So here we can click apply changes. Again, the important part here, guys, is that we make sure we run this as an admin. Um, if we run this as an admin, we're going to actually be able to do this and this is going to work. Um, and then, we, so it's saying we need to, to reboot our PC. You will need to do this. We'll not do this right now, but this is very common. You need to reboot your PC whenever you install a variety of applications. Uh, but otherwise, guys, hopefully this helps. Uh, let me know if you guys experience some uh, decreases in ping. And I'll let you guys know as well in my future videos, if I do as well, we're basically doing this together. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.